Hello there, everyone. Maybe because my audio is really quiet for the game. Uh, sorry I'm starting a little late. Uh, set my raid night got canceled, so I figure I'll just jump into something. That's not gonna take super long, but something to do either way. Oh, hello. Hi. Yes, hello. So welcome to Home Safety Hotline. Yes, I've been hired into a call center now. Press any button to begin. Okay, or any key to begin. Oh my god, I forgot my water. Oh, it's Boon, I'm gonna get my water. Don't go anywhere. First of all, it's raid night. It got canceled three minutes ago. I'm not late. I'm not even supposed to be here. Maybe if you paid attention to the Discord, I, you would have seen that. All right. Yeah, yeah, well, I can, don't think that kind of flooding would happen in the house. I've dealt with that before. Not sure about that one. God, this blood. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go to work. Somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Raid was fucking canceled. Don't fucking get on me about this fucking late shit. All right. I'm starting my new job here. All right. Y'all chill. Breathe. Relax. I don't know what I'm supposed to be. I know what I'm supposed to be. I played a little bit of this game. I was having a great time with it, and I figured, don't fucking shave me, Ichiro. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. All right. Yeah, we don't kink shame here. I mean, we don't shame here. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you diagnose their issue, submit the corresponding household hazards, and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. On the plus side, Shadow could go outside with her headphones on and not miss much of anything because there's a lot of talking this game does. Kink shaming is by kink. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so, so far we have a bunch of access stuff, bed bugs, bees! Oh, we got this audio. Cool. Uh, black mold. Oh, God! Just look 
looks like coffee to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. I don't know. I oh, don't know. Something looks like spec is... That's fine, what we're looking at here. Uh, I don't think a carpenter has cockroaches. The cucarachas. Oh, the droppings appear to be similar to coffee grow. That might be it. I'm gonna tell him cockroaches. I'm gonna jump the gun and tell him cockroaches because the droppings look like coffee grounds to him. Sweet. Alright, what else we got? Uh, gophers. Small brown bird. Oh my god. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm so sorry. My name is Grace. Hi, Grace. Yeah, it's regular. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Please hold. All right, let's see here. Uh, you got attic gophers. Yeah. It's totally attic gophers. Um, uh, fairly certain house flies don't go ee. -E. It's a house spider. They go ee 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 ee. Like, oh god, that picture. <laughs> Oh, mice. Uh, sounds of squeaking. That's probably it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say you have mice. I'm gonna try to actually do this, like, not fuck up. It's in alphabetical order and bat's not on the list, so. Hey, mole. Mole, 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 mole. Raccoons? Oh, he's so cute! He's adorable. I want to pet his little furry face. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told it wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Your you voice don't match your so look. I can take care of it once and for all. All right, huge piles of brown. He's not saying poop. He's just saying huge piles of brown. I mean, is he talking about poop? I mean, like, moles leave that vault. Like, I remember looking at the moles and it said huge volcano mounds. Uh, huge piles of brown. Dirt's brown. Yeah. Do not kill a mole. Uh, you know what, dude? I'm going to say you have a mole. And you might want to get your accent checked. Mole's actually kind of adorable. That's a bad. I was commenting on the mole. Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. I didn't know moles made noises. Well, I mean, I guess all animals kind of do, but I didn't know they sound like that. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow. It's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn is giving me a headache just thinking about it. You guys send some guys up to get this done please hold he's not really talking about anything but ticks I when I was up here uh, where is it uh, commonly fallen tall grass 
Uh, Barrel the head into the flesh. Host will report symptoms of illness such as fevers. He's getting a headache. And chills. I'm gonna say tick. I'm gonna say you got ticks, dude. Your kid got a tick and he's sick, and you're being a little bitch about it. Oh, God. Oh, hey, 100% accuracy. I'm a good boy. Uh, mailbox. All right. Hey. You don't know me, but I have you. I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. been at my real job for four years and this message just speaks to me because most of the kids write like this and oh we got a discount Ooh, we got a coupon we got employee discount on hsh bug spray i'm getting it for 5.99 that's a good deal pick it up today uh anyway let's get to work Bling. All right, let's clock in. Day two, let's go. I was a beast yesterday. Let's do some good in the world. Hello, it's Carol again. Hi, Carol. What's that, that necklace on your... Is that a Lucky Rabbit's foot? I got new information. And not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the client that is pertinent to address their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Okay. Oh, look, they added Bat. He's adorable. Uh, bed teeth? The fuck? Dude, uh, can I read my information before you do anything? Uh, sorry, I'm a... Uh, uh, I'll just a good night while he's talking. All right, let's go through and see what we can find. Um, allergic react, musty smell, allergic reaction, breathing problems. Maybe. <gasps> uh, welcome back, carbon monoxide. It does it audio sample. Okay. Um. He's not. No, nothing there. Cellar growth. Oh, f I don't think that's what he's dealing with. Uh, what else we got? We got a common hob. Uh, looks like they're good at cleaning. Looks like. Okay. De okay. So I'm assuming the hobs are good at cleaning just by this information. They're just very specific. The false beat? Oh my god. Uh, that's a vegetable. I don't think that's going to cause anything. A fracture hob. Cracks and things. The frozen pipes. I don't think you're dealing with frozen pipes. Ah, uh, he's definitely suffering from a house fire. Uh, pipe growth. No, nothing in the pipe. Pipe hob. Definitely cleaning. 
Uh, stair slug. No, I don't think you'd be dealing with a stair slug. You know what? The only thing I could think of that would ex that has anything to do with allergy. Musty smell, allergic reaction, and breathing problem. I'm gonna say black mold because I'm not 100% sure this fucker's dealing with. Where's your what? Um. Anyway, let's go back to reading about bed teeth. Uh, rare kind of fungus, more chrome on the inside of bed sheets, blankets, and comforters. Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living That's a hob. When I go look at it, I read, just read about them. I was talking about how they clean. But it's in the living room, so it must be a common hub. But they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Please call the... Yeah, I, I've already got this figured out. My memory's good. You got a common hub. I have the good memory. Frozen pipes make a sound. Yo, Buzz Goober here. Buzz Goober here. I got these snappers in shadow, but crying all over the place. Just all over the place. I got these whipper snappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What's you gonna do about all this? Called about 5,500 times. Anyway, does house fire make a sound? I would think a house fire makes a sound. an awful lot of panic and I'm pretty sure that's just mice because mice go on the walls and they gnaw on things so I'm gonna say you got mice as someone who deals with mice and has cats to deal with the mice I would think I would know a thing or two about the mice now the mice are very tiny, adorable little creatures, and what do you want? I was in the middle of a discussion about mice. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. Real quiet, so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or dropping. All right, man. Uh, you got some scratches in the walls. Uh, wasn't there like carpenter ants or something like that? Carpenter ants, small insects. And since I would, homeowners infested with these pests. Sometimes report faint rustling coming from their walls as the ants build their nests. Uh. Now back to the me talking about the mice. The mice are really adorable looking. 
even though the wild ones have some diseases but you can get some really cute ones at the local pet store now the mice i would love to own one of the mice as a pet because they are very snuggly thank you God damn it, Bob. I know what you're doing, Bob. Yeah, you know, Bob. Papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto. Damn it, Bob. And by Bob, I mean a desk hob because the organization skill is kind of a key giveaway there. Damn, I was 100% again. Shit. I deserve some head pats. Shadow. Hey, we got mail. They gave you access to more info. Wow, info is the only thing. Well, two info. Usually, well, I guess. Well, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Oh, there's a hole right there. Anyway, network errors. Oh boy, this is where. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you can experience care of neck or effort in the next few days. Cool. And I got a coupon on a used horseshoe. Perfect for that Ichiro that you know and love. The used horseshoe, now sixteen ninety nine at your local HSH store. Buy it now. Four thousand for a house. That seems more than a two bedroom. I mean, that might be a four bedroom. And two bedroom, two bath. It's a nice little house. Anyway, a uh, bunch of the some warning in all the counties. Missing persons alert authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall. Two bedroom, two bath. Wearing seems yellow maybe shirt, about right. Brown shorts and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described as of the approximately six feet tall, barefoot wearing. That is a, for $1,200, a five-bedroom, six-bathroom house. For $1,200, or $12,000. Right. What are we waiting on? Um, I gotta go to work. Shadow, I got 100% twice. Do I get head pats?
Anyway, I said uh, on the first two days, I got 100% accuracy on identifying what the people's problems were. Do I get head pats? New updates. Boggart. Oh, dear God. Uh, oh, that's what a hob metamorphosizes to? There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gone close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just I think I know. out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. I, I read this. It was, um... Oh, well, there's a false artifact. Uh, false rose bush. Ha ha ha! Look at the beat. Uh, something in the basement. Not a lamp. I think it's a. Where is it? A stair slope? Do they go in the basement? Yeah, they occupy. Okay, yeah. You know, I'm gonna say you got a stair slug because it's also the size of a dog. Stair slug. All right. Get out of here. How do you get rid of it? Oh. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from this bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this. Uh, something from there. Nasty sound. Uh, forming wo from wood. Wine sprite. Whistling fungi. No. Unicorn. Oh, he's a puppy. He's got a little unicorn horn. A toilet hob. Um, bad smell. Sound from the faucet. And Coming from the faucet. And nasty smells, but it's coming from the faucet. Um, frozen pipes. That might be it. Strange faucet smells. You might have frozen pipes, my dude. Yeah, no, DVD's been fun lately. Like, I've been having a blast when we go and do it. Oh, there was something with memory. I can't see her face. She did it. I can't see her face. It's all gone. It's all gone. It, there's something with memory. Please hold. Um, memory wisp. Memory wisp are invisible and odorless. 
Will Spinon remembers from home and its home owner. Oh, yeah, there we go. be weird that's why you can't remember something is because you get a memory wisp just kind of take it away hey yeah my name's fred pinball i'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business i have never seen such a big old mass left behind by your pest control team just tongues and twigs sticks pebbles saw it and i ain't putting up with it no I got sawdust coming out my drawers here. Had to grab you by the core and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? You gonna grab me by the what? You gonna grab me by the goober? <laughs> Shadow, he's gonna grab me by the goober. It's a goober. Anyway, uh, do 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 do. do. Thank you for calling H H H. You crazy. have bed tea! Do I need to be showering Wait, I don't know why. <laughs> often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Aren't you supposed to... Dude, shower more for starters, alright? But it sounds like you got yourself some bed tea. Oh, good, it's broken. But it sounds like bed teeth anyway. I'm going to tell you, you have bed teeth. Not bed bugs, bed teeth. And a shower more. Alright. Let's do that. Hello? I was Hi, Wanda. I to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has cracks or seems to be feeling it. I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers and sometimes to sharpen his claws on the couch but he would never do that to the wall he knows just how naughty that would be okay do you um do i have okay i have my information back peeling cracker peeling Sounds like a fracture hob, honestly. I'm gonna take a look. Mm. Peeling paint, holes in drywall, squeaky floorboard. That they, she might have termites, honestly, because the peeling sounds like termites. Do you think this is some kind of joke? 
maybe. Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much it repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now! Okay, so leaving out cream probably didn't do that. Come on. And the text. Thank you. Okay, so. Uh, com okay, so it the common hub solution can be compelled to leave unless it is said one measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis leaving out a bowl of cream so it had to have metamorphosed into a bogger uh, electrical outages okay yeah so you're done fucked up and metamorphosed it's a bogger you're done fucked up you're done fucked up yeah, done. Fucked up. <gasps> Ooh, day 300%. Yay! I am super thirsty. I don't know what's going on. Oh, cool. New mail. What do we got? Uh, new office pet. Whiskers. Wasn't Whiskers the name of the cat of uh, the lady with the termites that I got a hundred percent on? Did did you take her cat? He's a cute kitty though. Look at that kitty face. Oh, so 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 just want to smooth it. All right. Anyway, uh, daily coupon for the silver medal, a silver medallion. For only two hundred ninety nine dollars, that's an incredible price to protect you from the evils that the HSH is trying to warn you about. Pick it up today. Anyway, we got a new video. We're talking about the mice and oldest enemies from the black he's so adorable of our pet stores mice have see been get out of pet store for centuries and just like humans mice may even be evolving alongside us as well this is a mus muscular otherwise known as the common house mouse house mouse he rhymed and this is mus musculus loquensis otherwise known as the smart mice, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently, and in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. I want... With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Cool, cool, all right, cool. That's cool. 
be at the third day. You guys, this new job, it's been absolutely wonderful. It's been treating me well. Nothing terrible has happened yet. We're doing good. We're doing great. I need a better chair. This one kind of broke it. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. The? I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon thee. The fuck does that mean? Alright, what do we got? Ooh, we got Attic Gnome. Mm, my god. Ooh, Cellar Grotto. Oh, that's kind of pretty, though. A Fey Feast. Okay, okay, okay. Don't eat the Fey Food. Uh, the Fey Flu. Oh, god. Uh, what else? What the fuck? Researching. I think there might be something wrong with her faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But her among still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here. We ain't never had any problems up till now. Bosby? Dude, it sounds like you got a false beat. Please hold. False beat. False beat. Don't trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disgusting them, disguising themselves as their vegetables. Eaten by human, which they take root in the human stomach, feeding off the nutrients for its lifetime. Honestly, sounds like a false beat. The homegrown vegetables gave you away. Cool. Anyway, back to uh, my floor roots. Like in Shumanji. The Horde. Dude. Oh, ma'am. All right, let me look. I can hardly sleep anymore. It's at night. Please hold. Uh, is it a laundry gnome? It's not a laundry gnome. Uh, ooh, night gnome. There's night wisp and night gnome. Let's worry about the night gnome. Uh, higher key point. They have tendency to enter the quarters of sleep human and watch them sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sightings of them in the middle of the night. Or report heavy. Ooh, that might be it. Read Night Wisp just in case. Outside windows at night while whispering. Prom okay, no, this one. Because heavy breathing. Uh, night Gnome. It's not whispering to her, it's breathing. That's the key word there. Anyway, back to this. Did I miss anything? No. Uh, portal. I like portal too, though. Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. 
Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Oh, wait, I remember reading that. Um, it was this. this. Attic gnome. Substitutes gnome, nests in attics and ceilings. Homeowners are with attic gnomes. Also report knocking, rapping coming from the ceilings, or surplus of dust coming from their ventilation systems. The last time I saw it was when I was tucking him in the bed last night and checking his messy closet for beads to calm him down. So silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about beads and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. All right, ma'am. I know you're distressed, but if I've learned anything, your eight-year-old kid's an asshole in school. He's nice around everyone else, but he's an asshole in school when you're not looking. Or he's an ass. I don't know. I don't know him personally. And I'm trying a gentle buzzing sound, usually heard by young, very young human. I, I'm drawing a lot of the stuff off my memory because I kind of glance over the descriptions. Uh, false article, often reports, out of place, out of place, missing children. There we go. All right, there we go. False artifact. I've been working in a school. For Hi. Hi, Leo. I'm afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor oh, I know this one i haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this and i'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice not legal but please hold it was up here. Where is it? 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 Uh, uh, Fracture hobs. Half eaten cheese. Fracture hobs like a slice of cheese. My dude, you have yourself a fracture hob. My dude, you have yourself a fracture hob. I'm going to be employee of the month at this point. But back to what I was saying, I've been working in this public school for way too long. Like, these kids, some of these kids are just... Some of these kids are just assholes. Fucker. Better not be a prank caller. I had no idea, honestly, I was going to be a prank caller. I, I just know I get one every day. <laughs> Too many mouths to feed, you know what I mean. The pepper squeeze. Prank caller. Wait. That was just complete. That was hope. My god. 
<sighs> Let's look at the pulse for this bush again. You know, feet, bushy body, kidnapped children. That was a different sound. The worst headache, barely woke up, found his eyes are starting to look kind of pink. Please, how old are you? Oh god, I, I have no error. Um. No, not false artifact. I'm gonna say you had the Fey flu, because I did read in there about something about eye coloration. I have no network access to confirm. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! Top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. He probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Okay. Is my stuff back? I just want to. Carbon monoxide. Nothing but eyes. Uh, Fay flu. Headaches, fever, eye discoloration. Okay, yeah, see, right there. Uh, anyway, the only thing I think of that has to do with pets was this. Let me read about it real quick. Unicorn fungi is a rare horn fungus that is known to grow on the heads of furry animals. Okay, dog, household pets. Often, animals' dispositions cause them to be drawn to soil. Homeowners post report the rep furiously di Motherfucker. I'm gonna go ahead and say you got yourself a unicorn fungi on your dog. You better find him. I don't know where the accent's coming from, but it came. He's a pretty puppy, though. He's a pretty puppy. He should go. I was talking to the picture of the dog. Fucking rude. Oh yeah, travel now. You know that there he is in the suitcase. Anyway, um, seedling. Seedlings are small insectoid creatures. That's the size of it. Known for burrowing and outdoor planters or gardens, feeding up roots nearby. Okay, that's outside. Uh, anyway, let's go. Well, floor roots. Grow upward from the floor. Then so. Last play, they show more research. Is there anything else that it could be?
now. Maybe it's maybe it's four roots. Oh, good. I was gonna. I was about to have an issue with you. Uh, rip from wood materials. Huh? I'm gonna go ahead and say you got floor roots. I'm glad she lived. We were gonna have a problem. Yes. Oh, I sent her the wrong one. was a mistake here. Can you spot it? I have no idea what it could have been. Uh, seedling. Sound of dripping, stretching, it glows, coming from the cellar. Might be that. He might actually have himself a cellar grotto. Because that's like the more water, bad smell. 88.88889 I messed up one I don't know what I did wrong I was trying to figure it out all right we got mail uh, whoa the hole is breached i repeat the hole is breached it's not safe to come here i must find a new spot it knows i'm here oh it's whiskers scheduling changes due to shortage of available so we'll need you to come in work saturday and sunday thanks for being a real team player of course nothing new all right let's go let's start my day Clock in. All right. Would a bogger be responsible for that? No. Spay fee. 
least. Yay! I have no idea what I would have been. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Site accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. New things. All right, scroll to the top. Animation. Oh, gross! It's a puppet. Oh no. Mm -mm. Closet labyrinth. Okay. I can understand. Ooh, Dreamweaver. It's a spider. False flower. Oh god. Cobalt's now. A rain nymph. I don't think it's rain. Ooh, soap sprite. That's kind of creepy. A sprig tree. Uh, sprig trees are like organisms. They take root in a human body. They're known to cause structural damage in the home. She said it has fabric. It's a leak of black liquid. Yep. It's one of the new ones. Sprig tree. Sprig vines. Trash gnome. That's it. Still some stuff that I don't know about. Well, it sounds like a sprig tree to me. Hello, hello. Who's your daddy? Oh, God. Hey, I called last week. In the kitchen. Please hold. Uh, sounds like a hob. It's dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning it in the process. Trash, what do trash gnomes do? Okay, he's not complaining about a smell, so I'm gonna say. You, sir, have a pipe hob. So he's in the kitchen. Yeah. 
Greenhouse singing at night. Please hold. Was it the false flower that sings? Yep, there it is. Hey, Flipper! Well, my prank caller's been dealt with, I guess. with their way of talking. not working um I mean I guess I'm going to say lamp sprite Network error. There's so much stuff that could go on. Yes. It, it took my daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. 
please. Hold. Okay, it's all back. Um, let me see. Floor roots. Maybe that's what that is. Something grabbed his daughter and took her down? Off the tendrils. Let me see something real quick. Lamp Sprite. I might have been right. Um, anyway. Sprig vines. Something grabbed her and took her down. The tendrils. Nothing about tendrils there. Floor roots don't. Floors and wrap themselves around various objects or humans in the vicinity. Grow slow and they serve very little danger. I don't know. Something with tendrils? <sighs> I'm trying to think what would have tendrils. I don't know. Maybe... It's the only thing I can think of is floor roots. This pipe growth doesn't have tendrils, does it? Sounds like a mirror nymph. Please. Or a mirror something. Uh, mirror, mirror, mirror nymph. That was right. 
Uh, Steal my persona, try spies, generally faceless and voiceless. Look at my mirror nurse report not being able to recognize his own face. Boom! That one was quick and easy. still, nevertheless. Thank you. Let's find out if I did something wrong. Oh, someone new. I think those homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, Ooh, I know this one. It's the horde. Sounds like the horde. Behold. Sounds like the horde. Because the horde collect and store large quantities of household refuge. Yeah, there we go. Sounds like the horde. advised to sell one's home at the first sign of the horde's presence make the relocated files most conveniently yes did I make a mistake no you're someone new yeah is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys for the last few nights we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night but I haven't been able to see who's doing it I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth bright lights outside please hold uh, it's at night it's a night wisp bright floating lights the only thing I can think of. Because it's definitely a portal. There's an opening. And there's frequently record cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Yeah, there we go. You, ma'am, got yourself a portal. Do not step through the portal. Did I make a mistake? Someone new. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the Oh. I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still gotta be hiding in here. Ooh, just 
Okay, yeah, the text of, there Team you go. Hold. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's the only thing I can think of. It looks like it's got tendrils. <gasps> Ooh, we got a 90% accuracy. I made one mistake somewhere. stop it here I probably I don't know how much more of this game there is and but I'll pick it up another time I I'll read my email before we go your dress is no longer active so you've seen the email dress is no longer registered home safety as of 4 30 the shops will be shut down hag hide Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright. I don't remember her being there. Anyway, uh, I'll pick this up in another one. It might be just a short one, or I'll double down, I'll do this, and then I'll switch to something else, depending on how long it is. I think it's like two more days. But anyway. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate that follow button. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Laters.